Hey guys, it's Mike Malbro with Attracted Live, and today I'm going to show you how to create your very own squeeze page. All right, so first thing let me show you is the plugins that you need. So I have this plugin called Op Optin Cat. I'm using uh, Mailchimp, and I also have a plugin called Page Builder. It's um here. I'll show you the plugin right here in the installed plugins. You're going to need these two things, and that's it. So um, basically, what it's called Beaver Builder Plugin. It's the light version. Um, I'm not associated with, with them, but I hope I am one day because I use it all the time, and it's really, really good. So I'm going to take you to the pages, and we're going to just go ahead and click Add New. Okay, so first things first, how to set up this squeeze page. We need to come up with a title. Let me see if I can put the X right there. All right, so we're going to need a title. I'm just going to put test, all right? And then I'm going to go here, click this tab that says page builder, all right? And that's going to take me to the page builder. All right, so for right now, I want you to ignore everything except for what I'm doing on the side. Don't worry about how everything looks. I'm going to finish this up by showing you guys how to get rid of the navigation and all that other stuff, the title, all of that. So first things first, I'm going to scroll down, and you see this uh, drop a row layout or module. All right, this is very, very simple, but what you would do, right? You got basic models, modules, and you go to text editor, drop it in there. All right, and then all you have to do is create a headline. So I come here, and I heading one. Okay, boom. So your offer has to be something related to obviously what your market wants, but I didn't do anything but this. So what I'm going to put in is how to create a squeeze page. Boom. Okay. And the cool thing I use is uh, uh, there's a plugin. I forgot what it's called. Um, Tiny MCE that allows you to do a little bit more editing with your um, fonts. I'm just going to leave it for like it is for now, okay? So boom, we got that. Now let's say we want to add a photo over here, right? Oh, excuse me. Before I do that, let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna cancel this. All right, I like to have a two column breakdown. All right, now the cool thing with this uh, Beaver page builder thing is that I can actually adjust it on the fly. So let's say I wanted to have this be thin. I could do that. If I wanted to do it the other way around, I can do it like that. But for now, I'm just going to do it right about here. All right, so we're going to add some content. So first, before I put my photo on, one, on the one side, I'm just going to grab this. OptiCat sidebar widget from the WordPress widgets. All right, and I'm going to drop that right there. All right, now I did this ahead of time, but you can set your form already up in here in the sidebar widget, and you create your widget so that it says what you want it to say. All right, and then you click Save. Boom. Download your free guide now. You can make that say anything you want. You're able to uh, adjust and edit anything you want in this, but you do have to go to the widget, to the opt-in cat widget in order to edit that. I'm not going to do that here because, like I said, I already have this set up. So for this, um, something, ooh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to pause this video one second so I can get something ready for you guys. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, we're back, and I just had to go to my Dropbox. 
Um, I already had this um, made a long time ago. This is not for um, what I'm showing you guys. Obviously, this is just a, a book that I, I wrote about a year ago, actually, that I never really did anything with. But we're going to use this today just as a cutout, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to come here, get the basic model module, excuse me, of a photo and drop it right in this box. Okay, so we're going to... Actually, you know, what? I've never tried it as the uh, URL, so maybe I'll do that another day. Um, this is actually one of the other ebook covers I have. Um, so here's what I would do. Drop that right in there. Let that upload. Boom, got that. Let's make some space ready. There he. All right, boom. All right, now I don't want it full size because that's going to be huge, but I do want it to be kind of big. So let's do that. Let's see how that looks. Mm, that's probably way too big. All right, so let's do this. We're going to re edit that. And let's just choose medium. And that should be good. Okay. So for all intents and purposes, that will do. You can make little arrows that point over here, but you don't really have to. All right. So now that now that we've created that, we are done. But first, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save a uh, draft instead of saving it and publishing it. All right. So I'm going to save that. Okay. And then I want to go to edit page right here. All right. Now what we're doing right now is getting rid of all the excess layout material that we don't need. So we're going to um, go over here, all right, click sidebar layout. We want content only with no sidebars. And we want zero widgets in the footer. All right. And we want to go down. This is also a plugin. Disable elements. You can just type that into the plugins area. I forgot to mention that, but I'll put that in the show notes below. Um, so you want to disable the header, the primary navigation, uh, post uh, image, post header, headline, uh, post title, and footer. All right. Now I also have share buttons on there, so I'm going to hide the shares, hide related content, hide uh, and hide. Uh, Hide my post from related content. Now, all I have to do is click publish. All right, and we are done. So let me show you guys the finished product. Once it start stops uploading. Boom. Let's go there. All right, let me get rid of this download bar. And this is it, my friends. This is, with the exception of the edit. Uh, sign right there. This is what your visitor would see. So as soon as they come to your your page, they're going to see this. And actually, this is a mistake because I should have centered the headline. But this is what they would see. They'd be able to enter their email, download it, and go to the download page. Okay. So that's it, you guys. If you have any questions about um, anything I went over, maybe you missed something, um, check the show notes and also leave comments below. If you thought this was helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this in the coming uh, weeks. 
so yeah hit hit the like button destroy the like button if i can get 10 likes that would be awesome um see you guys next time